Today, an unusual trial is getting underway. These four people on the board behind me here, members of an activist group near Tampa, and they're accused of being agents of the Russian government. Officials saying the case will show how Russia tries to influence U.S. elections while promoting their geopolitical agendas. News Nation Ryan Bass joining us live from Tampa with more on this wild story. Ryan, how are prosecutors saying these men tried to influence our elections here at home? Well, the DOJ's federal indictment lays things out pretty clearly here, Marky, in terms of showcasing how Russia has been trying to meddle in U.S. politics for years, saying this is a clear example, including going so far as to interfere with elections, local elections here in the Tampa Bay area. I want to show you the four people that are on trial with this federal indictment and this uh, trial that got underway yesterday here in Tampa at the federal courthouse. All leaders of the St. Petersburg, Florida-based Ahuru movement, a.k.a. the African People's Socialist Party. The feds say they were working with the Russian government to spread disinformation and tamper with elections. Now, prosecutors claim they were recruited and paid off by this guy, Russian national Alexander Ionov, who they believe orchestrated this entire thing and backed their campaigns financially for the St. Petersburg City Council in 2017 and 2019. Ionov was indicted as well, but he's not currently on trial because he lives in Moscow. Now, the GOJ says this is a textbook example of Russia's efforts to meddle in our politics. Quote, among the foreign policy objectives of Russian government leadership is to expand Russia's sphere of influence, accusing the Kremlin of using things like social media and these four on trial here in Tampa to, quote, so discord and mistrust in the U.S. Now, the Justice Department is not messing around here, saying of these charges, quote, Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service allegedly weaponized our First Amendment rights, freedoms that Russia denies its own citizens to divide Americans and interfere in elections here in the United States. Now, they claim Ionov paid the political movement nearly $7,000 to push Russian propaganda but the four on trial say that was simply just a donation, and they are saying this is a violation of their First Amendment free speech rights. By the way, they're facing some serious jail time here, Marky, up to a max of 15 years in prison. For the three of the four here that are on trial on foreign agent and conspiracy charges, this trial just got underway yesterday at the federal courthouse here in Tampa. It's expected to last up to a month, Marky. Wow. Okay, we'll see if those defendants have a case or if, if there's a conviction on the horizon. Ryan Bass, thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.